Okay, so I'm going to do a recap of the recent, most recent episode of The Bachelorette. I'm a huge fan of The Bachelor and The Bachelorette franchises. So this is The Bachelorette on ABC. Uh, watch it with me and watch along. These are my live reactions. And as a single weird looking dude, it's important to know what a man thinks about this show. That is undoubtedly probably not for me, but I love it anyway. Bachelorette, yeah! Uh, so Claire's super old. She wants to find love. Her previous beau, Juan Pablo, on a different season of The Bachelor, was a total douchebag. Tried to have butt sex with her in a bush. Uh, it's on camera. You can watch it all. That was my interpretation. Okay, we're a couple episodes in. So far, what's happened? Claire met one guy, and she's like, oh, he's the love of my life. I love him so, so much. I don't even want to do the show anymore. And we're like, huh? Is she going to stay or what? And there's another guy who seemed very sweet, and there's one guy she yelled with on a beach, and there's another guy who gets really upset that she made them play strip dodgeball, and there's one guy who showed his dick. So that actually happened. That's not made up. So now we're here for her. She's a little bit like a uh, ancient Disney princess. Uh, she's not really that old, but the show makes a big deal of how old she is. They're like, she's not a dumb 22-year-old who wants to have sex in a bush. She's crazy. You can just tell Claire loves Dale from the way she looks at him and the way her tongue is in his mouth. I'm so excited about the quality of the men. Everyone's getting mad because Dale's so perfect. Oh, the guys are planning a walkout? This episode's going to be crazy, and I'm sure they're not just going to hype something up and then nothing happens like in every episode of this fucking show. I'm the oldest bachelorette, and I'm going to be the eldest bachelorette when I'm in 82. I'm coming back. Now we get the core of the show. A bunch of losers sitting around being like, You talk to her? I haven't talked to her. You talk to her? I haven't talked to her. Gosh, I wish I could get some time. You have to show a woman something that she likes when you're with your time with her. You know what I'm saying? You gotta show her a puppy or the head of a dragon that you slaughtered for her honor. As a father, the last thing I want is my young child daughters seeing me, heaven forbid, shaking my groove thing in front of the entire goddamn world. This is my God-given twig and two berries. That's my Christmas ham out back. And if God wanted me to share it with anyone, it was with my marital coital wife in our sex bed. He's like, so you're going to bring it up to Claire? You're going to bring that up to Claire? He's like, well, I don't know about that. He's like, oh, I guess you're not much of a man if you don't speak your mind in front of the woman you love. He's like, well, I will go in there and self-sabotage then. I must. I must. And Riley's like... Okay. Imagine having, like, I don't know, 50 seasons of The Bachelor or The Bachelorette or Bachelor in Paradise or whatever, Fuck Island, whatever spinoffs they have, and, like, you're like, partial nudity? I did not expect this. What show did you think you were on? Gonna, this conservative guy is gonna go in and bug Claire and tell her off for being a, a loose woman or something? He's like, I really care about my family, and Claire's like... I understand. I mean, my mom is dying right now. And he's like, let me finish. Jesus, it's all about you. Yep, 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 yep. Put the dead mom over here. <laughs> this guy's like, I would have been mortified to be on that date. And she's like, well, you weren't. So he's like, good. I wouldn't want to go. She's like, good, because you weren't invited. <laughs> this guy really amped up the criticism quickly. He's like, I'm not sure I'd like my daughter to see me play strip dodgeball went really fast to, I'm ashamed to be associated with you. Like, she's, like, sitting there and listening politely, and he's like, furthermore, you're Satan, bitch, and you burn. He's like, this is a distasteful and classless display. That could be the subtitle of The Bachelorette. What show did you think you were coming on? That guy just completely fucked that up. He took, like, the smallest thing, and he was just like, I don't want to be naked on camera. And is like, she's a whore! She's a whore! Flies off the handle, and then is like, let me finish calling you a whore first. And she's like, get the fuck out of here! She's totally justified. Claire just told him that she he's done. He's done for being a dick to her, and he's out of the house, and he's still yelling at her. You're not fit to be the mother of my child. No, what you said back to you, not to me. I'm rubber, you're glue. Like, what is this guy 
Who's he performing for? The evangelical movement? Get the fuck out of here. Okay, the most insane thing is this guy is like, I don't want to be a bad role model for my daughter. So I'm going to tell this woman she's a whore, uh, keep yelling at her when she tells me to go away, and then yell over my shoulder that she's old. So, great job, Mr. Dad. I'm getting some serious Mommy Dearest vibes from Claire standing out in the middle of a field yelling, Ugh, sick, sick. Maybe it's Carrie. They're all going to laugh at you. Claire says she's single because she didn't settle for men like that. And like Batman, Dale swoops in for the hug and the head smooch. <laughs> I'm not here to appease you. I'm here to please you. <laughs> Good line, Dale, but those are pretty much the same fucking thing. I think the worst thing that Yosef did in insulting Claire is making her cry while she looked so hot. You don't make a woman go through all that makeup and then make her cry at all that. It's just not fair. Chris Harris is like, wow, wouldn't it be nice if you had uh, a husband who would stand up to bad guys like Yosef for you instead of stand by and film it and watch as you cried like we did. Can't disrespect a female like that, man. Fish, sure. Bear, hell yeah. Female, no way. <sighs> Sorry I didn't get to talk to any of you because the one guy flipped out. Anyway, some of you guys are going home. This rose ceremony is going to be like, Would anyone named Dale please step forward? No matter who goes home tonight, the real winner is Claire's boobs and that dress. Let's be honest. Dale got a rose. I couldn't believe it. And now the non-Dales, would you please go home? Dale and Claire start humping during the rose ceremony where everyone else just watches like... <sighs> At this point, all the guys are so generic that the ones who are going home, I just don't even fucking know or care. Dale's like, cheers to Claire. I'm the only one who's going to fuck her. Claire put Dale on the group date. That means he doesn't get a one-on-one -on -one date. But uh, I have a feeling she's going to spend all her time with him anyway, right? Claire sounds like one of the birds in Finding Nemo. Dale, 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 Dale. Someone called Deanna is here from The Bachelorette Season 4. I didn't see it, so I don't care. Claire and Deanna are like farmers surveying their crops. Oh, fine crop of men this year. Claire somehow has Dale's pants and she's just smelling them. And now Deanna is checking the inseam. So their uh, things are... Sanity-wise, normal. Claire jokes happily, this might be the shortest season ever. And then it has, like, dark, scary music and shows the shadows taking over the mountains. Like, we're all invested in the fucking livelihood of the producers of the show. <laughs> Claire comes in and is like, so we normally go on some really fun group date where everyone gets to see her do something they've never done before. Instead, we'll be having long talks about our feelings. So, hooray. It would be great if Claire found some sort of loophole that just let her do one rose ceremony after another. Okay, I'm just whittling down till I get to Dale. Dale, 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 Dale. Claire's private conversation with Dale is just her cuddling with Dale on a bed. <laughs> so, goodbye everyone else. Goodbye. I'm not perfect, you're perfect. No, you're perfect. Is anyone enjoying this? You're perfect. Zach J gets the first one-on-one -on -one date. His response is, let's go. They let Claire go alone with Dale for an hour? That's your own fault, man. You should have sent somebody in after 10 minutes, man. Get your time. Dale just said, I'm going to catch so much riff for this. Is that another word for shit? Claire can only spend so much time alone in a room with someone who is a non-Dale in her life. Even Deanna sort of registers as a non-Dale and must be eliminated. Claire's conversation with one guy, he's just blowing bubbles like a toddler. She's like, uh, oh, bubbles, very good. Uh, you're not Dale. If I was Dale, I would go in in between every other guy and just watch them all flip out. Holy shit. Dale either wanders in or plans to wander in, interrupts somebody else, and Claire's like, oh, good, Dale. Yeah, get out of here, other guy. Non-Dale. I was joking about Dale stealing dates, but he's, he's stealing a date right now. It really is kind of unfair that she's just making out with the one guy and the rest of the guys are like, oh boy, I wonder what my girlfriend is doing. Yeah, you should interrupt Dale, other guy. You should go in just when they're making out and be like, what the fuck? Another guy comes in, interrupts their makeup session. And is like, I'd, I'd love to sidle in here and continue the make out if that's all right. Dale is literally trying to Obama his way out of the situation by being charming and it's kind of working, but the other guys are not happy. 
also the problem that all the other guys have is that they're getting to the situation where they're going up against a guy that the bachelorette really likes you don't want to do that you don't want to be like he sucks though he sucks because you want it to be like you also like me too right not like go up against your favorite because it just makes you a villain dale gets the rose shocker Okay, we're going into the date with this other guy who looks kind of like a young neighbor from American Beauty, Chris Cooper. I can't wait to see her for the first time again. You can't see someone for the first time again, stupid. Claire, you look absolutely titterful. Beautiful. Fuck. I think this date could prove to me that he's a really good best man for Dale. You can tell she's really into him because she's smearing avocados all over his face. On this date, I've been getting a very weird non-Dale energy from Zach. Zach is getting more affection from the dog than from Claire on this date. So something really weird just happened where Claire grabs Zach and tries to kiss him. And then he doesn't make a move. He seems stunned and doesn't lean in or kiss her back. And so she sort of relinquishes his face. And he's like, what, what happened? Wait, whoa. and then Claire's like, Dale wouldn't have done this. Like in her head, you can just tell. And then Zach's like, No, me can still kiss me. Grab your face, and he tries to grab her and pull her neck in. And she's like, mm, This isn't making it better. He's like, What's wrong? She's like, Nothing. And when a girl says nothing is wrong, you fucked. Guys, listen up. If a woman wants to walk away from you, let her walk away. Unless she's walking away because she wants you to chase her. In which case, you damn well better chase her. Okay, I've watched that moment several times, like I'm watching, trying to figure out the shooting trajectory on JFK. Back and to the left, she, she goes in for the kiss really seductively, and then stops like she's expecting him to, to push in and finish the kiss. His mouth just sort of opens like he's ready to accept her kiss. She goes, oh, oh, as if she's realizing something, tries to pull away, then he grabs her by the neck and then falls her out of the pool and grabs her by the neck again. It sounds more violent than it is, but it does look like he's trying to caveman hold her and take her and show her he's a man. But, it, you know, it also must be so hard when you're like on a date with a woman and you know she has like 30 other options and she's super in love with one of them already. It's like, how many fuck ups can you withstand? Zach welcomes, instead of Claire, Chris Harrison to the table. Not a good sign. She's not coming to dinner. Holy shit. Because of that awkward kiss moment, she just sent him home. She didn't even do it to his face. She had Chris send him home at the dinner, kept him waiting, and then it's like, you're done. And then wouldn't explain her reasoning because it had some sort of abuse trigger in there. I mean, let's be real. Zach had no chance in hell. There was zero chemistry, but he also never really got a shot because the chemistry was so far along with Dale already. So far, what I understand is that aside from dodgeball being fun in general, Claire has really terrible date ideas. I mean, a roast? Guaranteed emotional destruction. And she's been through the ringer this week. Just so much turmoil. Why would she want this? Fucking insane. Margaret Cho is here, which makes me happy. A perfect audience is one filled with your competitors who hate you and want you to fail. Sounds like a great place to laugh. The jokes aren't jokes so much as they are just mean things that the guys have been thinking about each other. So it's kind of a roast and just no punchlines, just being like, you're a dick and I personally dislike you. Come at the Dale you best not miss. Dale's doing a good job of weathering the storm of insults. I think it's because his love is true. Is there actually something bad about Dale, or are they all just so fucking jealous and butthurt that they can't help but lash out? I also love that Claire's just like, they're picking up on my very subtle chemistry with Dale. Like, it's fucking in the air. We all see it. There are just some things you can't joke about in comedy, and Dale is all of them, okay? Then it's like, the roast went really well. I took the thing the woman I love loves most, and I destroyed it. Claire, we don't have to talk about Dale this whole time. Uh-huh, uh-huh, Dale, though. What's the joke about me marrying Dale? That's not funny. It's true. I thought Pilot Pete didn't know what he was doing on his season. Claire seems to be, like, actively tanking her own season right now. Dale wasn't on this date, so no one can get a rose. Sorry. She's literally not gonna give out the rose. Holy shit. Hey, you all failed. Sleep well. Bitch. The man I'm looking for would be honest to me about Dale, my husband. Claire just called Dale her fiancé, even though they're not there. What the hell? Now she's giving herself the rose? Oh my god, she's crazy. 
It would have been so great if after Claire gave her little speech and gave herself the rose, she ate it. Okay, so that's the end of the episode. They hint that, you know, all the guys are going to walk out, which they probably will at some point, but not this episode, clearly. Like I said, they hype it. It doesn't happen. It happens every episode. They do something like that. So something bad's going to happen. Claire's probably going to leave the show, is what it seems like everybody's hinting at. Uh, she's going to marry Dale and run off into the sunset, and then who knows what happens to this show, but ah, drama. So that's the end of this little recap thing. Thank you very much. I'll be back next week if you guys like this one. Bye-bye.